Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Mr. Suraj and you are watching Code Freaks. In this video, I am going to solve the IPA 15 mark question which was asked in the previous year IPA exam. So let's begin with it. So this is the task that we are going to solve it today. So this is uh, this task is actually uh, actually it, it is asked in the previous uh, uh, now recent IPA exam which was happened in uh, uh, June 20, uh, 26 I think so. So let's begin with it. So firstly we want to um, the main task is to find uh, like enter the string. Firstly we want to enter the string uh, from the user and uh, uh, the main task is if the particular uh, string contains first letter this first letter no this first letter first three letters if it contains c h n okay so capital letter capital letter c h n so if it contains three, uh, the first three letter is c h n then we want to uh, reverse the last three letters okay this k s c we want to reverse it okay so after reversing it it will be becoming as c s k okay so this is the task that we are going to uh, solve today so uh, i think so everybody find, found it very difficult so actually it is very very simple actually the main logic is uh, we want to put the, the dot contains uh, the string method dot contains if it contains these three values that means chn actually this contains chn then we will be applying uh, reverse like uh, the last three values so I will I will be showing you that in the coding section. So let's move into the coding section. Okay. So guys, finally we are entering into the coding session. So in this coding session, I am going to begin the code. So I think that everybody understood the question. So I am going to start the coding. So firstly, I am going to create a file name called pp.java. So I have created a file name called pp.java. Okay. So I am going to create a uh, main method and then i am going to create a scanner class so i think that it will be understood what is scanner class scanner class is mainly used for uh, buying the input from the particular user so okay so i am going to import this scanner class okay so uh, i am going to import this uh, scanner class okay so firstly our task is mainly to uh, string uh, Firstly, we are going to buy the string input from the user. String str equal to st dot next line. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, string st equal to uh, uh, double quotes. Uh, inside the double quotes, I will be putting chn. Okay. So why I put the chn? Because firstly, it will be beginning with the chn. So I will be putting inside the if condition. I will show you. If str dot contains of c h uh, st okay so this st st means c h n okay then if this condition is satisfied then i will be reversing the last three letters so i will be putting for int i equals str dot length minus one and i greater than or equal to three so why we put three because we are going to uh, reverse last three letters okay then i minus minus and then i will be putting system dot out dot print ln uh, str dot caret of i okay so then i will be putting the else condition like if uh, the first letter is not beginning with this schn okay so then i will be putting no nothing as you wish okay so this is the code guys so i think that everybody understood the code so uh, let me uh, explain it once again so this is the particular uh, input right chn ksc okay so this is a particular input right so uh, i'll be putting i'll be initializing firstly chn okay so i'll be firstly uh, if can put in the if condition like if this str dot contains of st st means this chn str str dot contains if it contains this chn then it uh, this uh, this for loop is for reversing so is for int i equal to str dot length minus one str dot length is six okay so str dot length minus one is five so i equal to five i greater than or equal to three i minus minus so str dot it's uh, it, if this condition is satisfied then str dot character of 5 str dot character 5 6 minus 1 is 5 okay so then first letter will be print okay first letter will be printed okay then the loop will be uh, i 
will be decremented and then it will be becoming as 5 okay i equal to 5 and i equal to 5 minus 4 4 greater than or equal to 3 then it will be coming inside and then str dot character of 4 so str dot character 4 is c yeah, yeah, yes okay so str dot character of uh, uh, character 4 is yes so this is 0 1 2 3 4 yes okay so then it will be decremented as 4 okay then it will be becoming str dot uh, i equal to 3 okay then 3 greater than or equal to 3 then it will be coming inside and str dot character of 3 so str dot character of 3 0 1 2 3 this 3 is k okay so i will be printing it okay so then i will be getting the output as csk so we so finally we ended our coding so finally we are going to check whether the so guys finally we are entering into the output session so finally we are going to check whether the code uh, is right or not uh, so uh, finally let us check it so i am going to put java c pp dot java so okay so pp dot java okay so java pp okay so finally we are going to enter the string input okay so string input as chn ksc okay so we want to get to the output as csk okay so let us check here we get the output as csk so guys i think that everybody understood the logic so if you didn't understand the logic so comment in the comment box okay so this is the final so uh, guys i am keep on saying it that uh, do practice daily and daily so that you can be able to crack even more more and more java programs so i will be try to post more and more java programs in my youtube channel so for that uh, you who want to subscribe my youtube channel do subscribe and uh, do support my youtube channel so uh, we will be seeing you in the next video with a new task guys so uh, till then goodbye bye bye see you